Granger. Hit long towards Daly. Walford leaves it for McGregor. throw, bounced in and straight out again. <laughs> Granger stole a few yards there, turned by Baguera. Goodwillie, pass Whitaker, still David Goodwillie. Lafferty leaves it for Stephen Davis. Kenny Miller's making a good run for, for him. Lovely ball from Davis for Miller! And at the second time of asking, squeezed it across the face of goal, and there's no one there to put it in. In again from Fleck. Well, that was the opportunity for Kenny Miller to break his eight-game goal, goal drought. Here's Whitaker. Fleck. Miller again for Mendes. Lovely take by Mendes. Now Fleck. Kovacevic's clearance not the best. Here's Mendes. Mendes again. Good pull back for Kurt Broadfoot. Trying to tiptoe his way through. Stayed on his feet well. He only had Lafferty to pull it back to and he couldn't get it to him. Still, United can't get the ball out of their own penalty area at the moment. Mendes. with a rumbustious challenge. Pedro Mendes incurs the wrath of Ian Brines. Mendes claiming he was elbowed by Goodwillie. But it had Miller gone for the near post, having had the initial effort save from Zaluska, and it would have made the game safe. And as it is, Rangers still just the one goal ahead. Here's Whitaker now. Miller, Fleck, and Good Willie has uh, pulled Whitaker to the ground. And Craig Levine thought that there was uh, an infringement before that one. In from Whitaker. Just over two minutes plus stoppage time for Dundee United to 
get an equaliser that I'm sure they will feel their efforts deserve. Whittaker with the throw. Lafferty. Now Miller. Granger, Ferguson, Mendez, ninety seconds of the ninety minutes remain. Broadfoot, Davis. Miller to his right-hand side. And the deflection, if anything, took the pace off the shot. So Luska bowling it out quickly. And that's uh, Rangers' ball. Carling man of the match, number 53, John Flake. The second SPL game at Ibrox. For the second time, John Fleck is man of the match. This time, though, he's set to leave the field, the match winner as well. Davis, after the industry of Lafferty was rewarded. But if you left it for Ferguson, which wasn't what the Rangers captain was expecting, but it's worked well for them. Fleck for Mendes, Broadfoot invited forward from full back. Fleck. Now Broadfoot, Lafferty in the centre, wants it played in early. United with enough bodies back to defend and clear. Mendes takes it short for John Fleck. He's won the free kick as well, Mendes. Brought down by Goodwilly, that's been a naughty battle between the pair of them since he came on. Alan McGregor has hardly had a significant save to make. A couple of routine stops from David Robertson, but other than that, Dundee United haven't tested them too much. Will they be able to force something in stoppage time? Craig Levine waves everybody forward. Again, it's going to be the uh, throw from Granger. Taking a short for Bourbon. Up and under from him. We might have let it go through to McGregor, but didn't take any chances. And now Ferguson teases it forward. Here's Davis. And Zaluska came out and seemed to uh, call to everybody. It was his ball. Kovacevic then puts pressure on Gomez. Here's Miller. Davis. Dink ball in, too high for Mendes. Chance for Lafferty. Good save, Zaluska. Rangers surely will be all right, but could have made the point safe then. Here's Whitaker. Corner flag is his target. Way by Dodds. Broadfoot. Surrender possession pretty cheaply there, Kurt Broadfoot. Rather than uh, putting the ball into space or finding feet. Will he be punished? Here's Feeney. Approaching the final minute of stoppage time. 
Ball in from Kovacevic, dealt with by Weir. Helped in again by Swanson. The Rangers just happy to get it out of harm's way. Ian Brines looks at his watch. Now Mendes. Miller. And he threaded it through for Ferguson. Zaluska came out. Lafferty. Almost the last kick of the game. Rangers set the seal on the victory with Kyle Lafferty's goal. Lafferty back in the side, back amongst the goals. And Rangers, on a very nervy afternoon, have got the job done. Well, it wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing performance for Walter Smith and his men, but it doesn't really matter at this stage of the season.